happen. I wanted it to. I wanted it to so, so bad. And it didn't happen. And it seemed like if I left, it seemed like if I left, it would be okay. Because I drove her crazy. And I drove him crazy. That was actually what I was doing. I was steering people that were crazy. Because I'm like the only person I've ever known that can handle being completely insane and unfit for this world in every way, shape, or form. I... I didn't even know when I was saying to people that I walked around with with this stamp on my head I was branded and in and, 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 and the the only other person that said that is it's like famous and I didn't even know that until I was in the mental hospital when I was 16 that that was Charles Manson and and it's just like well fuck <laughs> you know the the responsibility that I have to my brother is like so much of my world <laughs> but it's everyone it's everyone who thinks that they, they can't do it and that they won't make it and I'm just fucking proof that you can't and I don't know you, but I love you. I think about you often. I I so enjoy having you as a contributing energy to my life and to my Facebook. I don't have a lot going on on my Facebook. I choose to have a very limited life because I'm very sensitive to energy. And I'm, I'm so spent. Oh, God, I want to do it. I want to help him. I want to help him, but I can't. I know I can't. You're an angel. You're an angel. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with, with religion or 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 even holidays. It's just the energy. It's just the energy convergence around this time that that is love. And it's love like Oh God! <laughs> it's love that will cut you like a knife and just keep twisting, <laughs> and it's love that will take you out of the darkest hell and be your light. And it's love. <laughs> And I will do everything in my power, which is absolutely everything. I live all out, no stops, no rules. I will do everything. <laughs> and he will get that Christmas present. I fucking swear it. I don't make promises lightly, and I don't make promises that I don't keep. Which is ultimately why I'm here. <laughs> so, I will keep you apprised of the situation as best I can, and I will start on it now. Like, as soon as I stop making this video and upload this video. So, I just, I just want to have as, as genuine a uh, conversation with you uh, as I can, and I, this is just the only way I know how to do it, and I just love you. I just love you so much. <laughs> and I love my brother so much. And I miss him. You've seen him, and you know him, and you know, you know who he is. If you didn't know who he is, you wouldn't fight for him. You wouldn't know why to fight for him. Sean doesn't understand. Sean, Sean has written him off. Brian doesn't speak in front of Sean. There's no way he could know. There's no way the world can know. <laughs> and before he got all poisoned by the world that we had to live through, he was so, so wonderful. He was the 
the golden child. He was mama's boy. And I was daddy's girl. And I wouldn't do anything differently. And I can't think of how I could, I could make a different rock and hard place choice that would be better for him because I have stayed with him, I have been with him, and I have been present for him through everything that I've gone through. <laughs> when Donnie beat me, Brian was the only other person that knew. Brian knew before Donnie's friends knew. And when Donnie's friends knew, they just came over and they told jokes about beating women. So. My brother. My blood. My brother is me. He makes it through this. He does. I love you, love to you, and love to Matt. I really do love Matt. Oh my god, that's so wonderful that you love Matt. I just, I feel so weird about it because, like, I really wanted him to be my first boyfriend, and it just, like, it wouldn't work because neighborhood persecution and my mother, my mother. Oh my god, my mother. You know, Matt was the first person that I met when I moved into the neighborhood. Matt was my welcome. And I know what a treasure Matt is. And I know that the world doesn't get it. And that's just fucking fine. <laughs> so glad you do. I felt like I abandoned him. <laughs> Alright. Well, my battery's gonna die. So, all the best to you. And what wonderful, wonderful fortune this is, this day is, this energy is, nothing but good is happening to me right now. I just have, like, good love pouring, pouring freely out of, out of every channel that, that I've created, and there's not many, and I'm amazed, and I am so in love with life. We can share that with everybody. <laughs> okay. Bye, dear.